On the GMAT, we can't assume that numbers are integers, but we are told in this question that D and G are integers. The question is whether they sum to an even integer. Before looking at the statements, we know that they will sum to an even or odd integer. If you add any two positive or negative whole numbers, you'll get a positive or negative whole number or zero as a result. The question is whether this sum is even. Let's turn to the statements, of course, examining them separately first. We can examine statement one by cases. According to this statement, G could be even or odd, since the statement only tells us about D. In the former case, when G is even, D plus G is even. In the latter case, when G is odd, D plus G is odd. If this is not immediately clear to us, we can confirm it by plugging in some numbers. The numbers will indicate rules, since there are regularities in even and odd numbers and how they are added and multiplied by each other. Therefore, we have different answers to the question being asked in different cases, so we don't have sufficient information to answer definitively. Statement one is insufficient. On to statement two, which we can also examine by cases. Statement two allows D and G to be anything as long as they are integers and they are equal to each other. Say D equals one. In that case, D plus G equals two and is even. Trying another case, if D is two, then D plus G once again is even. Examining more cases, we can convince ourselves that D plus G will always be even when statement two is true. Furthermore, we can note by algebra that since D equals G, then the sum of the two is the same as 2D or 2G, and that means the sum will always have two as a factor since it's two times the variable. Having two as a factor is the definition of an even number, so it means that the sum will always be even. Statement two is sufficient, and the correct answer is B.